it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up, guys? Craft Farms here, back with another video. <clears throat> so today we're gonna be doing some work on my map. As you saw in yesterday's video, we were planting that field there. Um, so I'll just run you through what I've all done. Obviously, as you saw in the other video, I changed the grass textures, um, both the ground and foliage. Uh, both of those came off of County Line. Um, and then I changed the field textures. There was a pack on FS-UK that I downloaded and used. Um, got all the fence done around the fields here. If we select field fences, you can see. <clears throat> goes up to there, comes down. Follows all the way along down there. Um... I don't remember if I showed this or not, but here's the dirt texture I made. <clears throat> um, it's really nothing special. I just went to Google, to Google, geez, and um, typed in dirt road texture and found like three that I liked and narrowed it down to the one that looked the best. Um, I got the tree row in here. Uh, if we bring this up, you can see there is a tree row there in real life as well so we got that tree row in and it goes along so what we're gonna do in this video is work on putting fence around this field here um, I've got all of the corners in that corner that corner that 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 and then that and then that one it's already been done from there uh, if we go here down to here you can see what's all been done um, so yeah we're gonna put some fence in here and then the next video we're gonna do something a little different um, we're gonna work on putting a dealership a vehicle repair shop uh, maybe I haven't decided if I'm gonna make a repair shop in blender or if I'm just going to use an existing building. So for sure a dealership, an elevator, crop production services, and then maybe a couple of, like a bank or something. And maybe like a, um, uh, geez. Maybe a place to go, like maybe I'll put like a realtor's office in or something. So then like you actually go there to buy your fields. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, so we're going to work on fences in this video. Um, these fences have taken forever. In a way, I'm kind of wishing that I w didn't decide to do these, but they just add so much more detail to the map. It looks so much nicer. So, in the end, it'll be worth it, but till the end, it sucks. <laughs> um, but... This is actually my second attempt at recording this video. I had tried recording one yesterday. And... Well, yesterday for me. I tried recording one on Sunday. And forgot to even plug in my headset and turn it on. So I was sitting there talking to nothing. And then I went back to go... You know, I took my headset off and laid it down and looked over. Huh. The plug-in is not plugged into my computer for my headset. Well, that's not good. Look at the headset. Oh, the headset's not even on either. Well, that was nice. So I spent like 45 minutes just babbling on. Just had to delete it. I was like, well, that kind of sucks. But. 
Oh well. I don't even remember what I was doing when I did that. If I was like working on trees or what the heck I was doing, but I was doing something, that's all I know. So these fields are pretty large. Um, I'm not sure now how I'm going to do this because if you look, there's really not a lot of small fields. I mean, that one's kind of smaller there. Um, that's a smaller section. But that has to be accessed a different way. Um, I could maybe make these fields and have a couple small ones or something. But there's just not really a whole lot of small fields that'll really go with what kind of equipment I was planning to use. So maybe what I might do is run a section line down here or branch off of this one. Maybe pop a couple small fields in there. You know, just something to start off with or... Maybe split some of these fields in half. Like maybe this one I can split in half. And then, you know, this field. And I don't know. That or I'll just start off with one, you know, one larger field and go from there. And just, you know, you put multiple crops in it or whatever. <clears throat> I have not moved the field, like, triggers and all that stuff yet um i'm not going to do that until all the fields are in because you know like if i placed them now i'd either have to pick randomly and then remember which ones i did or i'd go like one two three four five six and i really don't want to do that i kind of want to make the fields just kind of random and whatnot so So we'll have to just see how it how it all works out, I guess. Yeah, this is a pretty flat spot here. Kind of rolling a little faster than I have been a lot lately. So, okay. <clears throat> Oops, wrong button. I definitely wish there was a better way to put these things in. You know, put fences and trees and roads and all that stuff in. Uh, I was in a Random Sparks live stream on Saturday or Sunday. I think it was Sunday. And you know, some of us were kind of talking about, you know, somebody brought it up. That uh, it'd be cool to have like dynamic roads and whatever. Or you know if like Giants Editor had a function where you just basically place a road or something. You know do some kind of a setup that you could make Giants Editor automatically do all of your roads for you. And make them like you know go with the terrain and then make, make it so that it adjusts the terrain. You know, up and down to go with, you know, like the way that your roads are and whatnot. And then, you know, said that'd be cool. You know, I said that'd be cool for fences because as I was watching the stream, I really didn't watch. I just kind of played it in my headset and just listened to it. But, you know, then uh, I while, while it was going, I was working on the fences here. I was down over there somewhere going in between fields and you know I said yeah it'd be cool for fences too and power lines and whatnot and uh, somebody said it would be possible for power lines you just have to do something in Maya to like separate them and make them different pieces or whatever he said that's what he 
heard or saw or whatever said he never tried it himself but <clears throat> would it definitely be nice if you know they would make it uh, easier on people to do all these roads and stuff you, know, you just like paint like if you paint an asphalt texture then you know you press a button and you know select your road pieces and then bam you know it places it adjusts the terrain and you're good to go would definitely be nice be a lot easier and faster but Um, and then I do have, I guess I didn't really show it when I went over here. I do have the barbed wire. It ends right here on this tree. Which I found, you know, I think that's kind of neat. Um, you know, like a way to have my fences and have their trees at the same time. Although, I think the trees could have actually gone that way, this way, a little bit more. But, whatever. Good enough. Getting closer to this end here. Still got a little ways, but... Getting closer with each fence... And it especially helps that it's kind of a flat area here for the most part. I mean, there's a few times like right now where you got to adjust it, but and it'll be flat for a while. And Oops. Uh, yeah, I guess I did bring in map edge hedges as well. Or edges, whatever. Um, map boundaries, you could call them. Which is actually what I'm going to put in this as map bounds there we go um, just exported it off of my map my will map and imported it here and then just adjusted them up and down and whatnot to fit and away I went so When I set up the uh, crop production services on this map, I'm actually not going to use, well, yeah, I don't think that I'm going to actually use the um, actual CPS building that's been used on many maps. Um, I may use it, but for the most part, what I'm going to do is like find like an office building or something like that, and then... Um, put that on and then put all the you know CPS logos and decals and whatnot else and then get some grain bins that have the logos on it and have you know one will be set up for your um, seeds one will be set up for fertilizer uh, or your you know your dry fertilizer and then like put some tanks or something for all the liquid chemicals and fertilizers and whatnot and Or maybe I'll use the building and an office, or I don't know. I'll have it set up some neat way. I do want to look, um, I think I said this in yesterday's video, but I don't remember. Uh, I have a map that has a sugar beet set up um, because this map is in an area um, where sugar beets are very, very common. Like, uh, most everybody does sugar beets, I think, you know, maybe not most everybody, but like, a lot of people do sugar beets 
you know, I guess that's kind of what I was trying to say. There's a lot of sugar beet uh, production in this area. Uh, it's kind of near the Red River Valley area. It's not far from there. So, you know, like for those of you that have seen like Random Sparks' Red River Valley map, you know, this is probably not far from the area that he based his map in. Um, you know, because like he's in South or in Minnesota and North Dakota. So, you know, I don't know exactly the area that he based it on, so I don't know how close this is to that area and whatnot, but, um, but it's in, you know, that general area, and so sugar beets are pretty common. So what I want to do is incorporate that into this map, and basically I have found a map that has, like, a sugar beet piling station on it, but it almost looks like, you know, looking at it in Giant's Editor, it almost looks like it's set up as, like, a storage trigger. So I have to kind of look around at that in-game and just kind of see how it's set up um, and just kind of play around with that, see how it's set up. You know, if it's set up as a storage point, then I'm going to... Um, you know, put different triggers on it and set it up so that it's a cell point instead of a um, storage point because, like, there won't be a storage point on here for the sugar beets. Like, if you, you know, if I want to store sugar beets, they'll be in a pile, like, on the ground. Because normally with sugar beets, you don't actually store it. You harvest while, because, like, you can only harvest in certain temperatures. Once it gets above, or maybe that's only potatoes. I think it's for sugar beets too. But like you can only harvest in certain temperatures. And then like once that, you know, you're above or below that, or yeah, above that temperature, then you basically shut down. And then... But the whole time that you're harvesting, you're hauling straight to the piling uh, station. So, I I mean, I know that, I'm pretty sure that's potatoes at the very least. I can't remember if that's sugar beets too or not. Am I really sign or online? Yes, I am. I don't want to be online. I don't know why, but my Steam, like automatically logs me online all the time even when I log off I'm still online it's like what kinda gets annoying Um, yeah, so I had talked uh, in the Thursday modding, in Thursday's video, I was going to do um, video of a new project that I'm working on with some guys, but I'm actually not going to do that. Um, I'm going to do some other stuff. I did find a few things in the SketchUp warehouse that I'd like to throw in Blender and redo, so maybe that'll be what I'll do. I'll just kind of work on some SketchUp model redos and whatever remakes. Um, there's a couple fuel tanks. There's actually a older t pickup, too, that um, I might do. I did also, if we go here, go to Polygonish, um, there's a Chevy C70 truck. Uh, right now it's $40, but I, whoa, this is a new one. Versatile 305. Cool. I want to buy this too now. Anyway, um, I saw this last night. 
uh, and this I'm gonna buy, but I'm gonna wait, like, in a day or two, this will drop to, like, anywhere from 15 to $19, but I do notice it does not have a grain door on it, it's a grain truck without a grain door, does not make a lot of sense, but whatever, we'll roll with it, um, so, yeah, I'm gonna buy this, and then now that I see this, I also want to get this. This is a pretty nice looking tractor. This must have just came on like late in last night, early today or something. Because I did not see that before. When I was on yesterday afternoon. But that truck would definitely be nice. I'd love to have, I've wanted to make one for a while, but I could never find, like, good pictures to make it, like, to go off of and whatnot, so I just never did, and then I kind of just forgot about it. I think the one that I wanted to make, though, was, like, a C50, not a C70, like that truck, but... But if I do that truck, I definitely already know how I want to set up, set it up texture-wise. Um, you know, like have the default color that red that it, you know, have the default as red. But I want to make it color selectable. But only the cab would be selectable. I think I don't know that, or maybe I'll do like a few different color versions. I know my great grandpa had a truck. I'd have to ask my dad. I don't remember what model it was, but it was an old Chevy grain truck. Or maybe it's a GMC. And really, there's not much difference, but... Um, he had an old grain truck, a lot like that. And the cab was red, and the box was like a light blue. I remember I did like a texture replica of it on the GMC grain truck... Uh, in 13, I did a bit of a edit to make it kind of look like it, and, uh, yeah, it was just the same colors, it wasn't much else. Let's make sure, okay, I want these zeroed. Okay, so then I'll select this to get get it aligned. Then we'll turn it this way, and then make sure everything is lined up. It should be duplicate it, and then we'll delete the post. Because we only need the one. And then away we go. Now I can tell that we're getting into some hills. Because I can't even see the third wire. And this post is way under the ground. Oops. Negative 2.3... Two point six, maybe? No, two point five. We'll back that up a little bit. Actually, no, it should be two point six. Ah, uh, five five. That'll look better. But um, yeah, as I was saying, you know, the truck, like usually when Polygonish has a model come out, it's like. 40 to 45 dollars and then within like a couple days it drops to like half or so or a little less so i've just found waiting a little bit helps and it's not quite as expensive Although $40 really isn't that expensive when you think about it because 
Like, a lot of models are, like, if you look on, you know, like, for the de amount of detail and, you know, the, uh, I don't know how to explain it, I guess. You know, like, with how nice Polly's models are, to buy something like that off of, like, Turbo Squid or something would be, like, over $100 easily. Or, like, anywhere from, like, 80 to over 120 or something like that. I mean, like, there was a truck, there's a Chevy I saw on there, that uh, Chevy pickup that I would not mind having. You know, that, I think it was, like, 125 bucks. You know, Chevy 3500 And, yeah. And then I saw all a replica... Uh, truck that's almost the same as mine and that's like a hundred and I want to say that was 125 too the only difference in that one is it has the power mirrors so like if I when I buy it I'll have to do some changes because like the mirrors are different um, it doesn't have an any interior pictures so I don't know what's all different inside but um, yeah, I don't know maybe it they replicated a man or a automatic transmission I don't know but um, and that one you know like to change it I just have to change the paint because uh, it's like a different paint color I'd have to change the mirrors and then, you know, possibly the interior. Because, like I said, you know, they didn't have any pictures of the interior, just the exterior. I can tell it has an interior in it, because you can kind of see, like, the seat and whatnot. But it doesn't have any detailed pictures of it. But eventually, I'd like to buy that. Uh, it'd be kind of cool. Then just give it the same paint scheme mine has, and the same mirrors, and away we go. But, yeah, there's there's a lot of models that I've seen that I'd like to buy. Um, that, you know, would be pretty cool. Uh, I did see there was a Exus horse trailer, or cattle trailer, or whatever, you know animal trailer and um my dad and stepmom actually have a nexus trailer and i was like oh this would be cool to get you know it was 75 bucks or no no that one was like 16 or something like that maybe that was the cheap one i don't remember you know it really wasn't that bad of a price and then uh i got to looking at it more at the pictures that they had of it found out that it's actually like not that close to theirs because like the tack room door is on the wrong side uh, or on the opposite side I'll say not technically wrong but the opposite side and then the so then that made the little door on the trailer on the wrong side as well and then the rear doors it was only one door or like one solid door and on theirs, it's, uh, you know, it, it's got, like, two parts. The one part slides. So, I might just, like, take some pictures of it this spring slash summer and just model one. Make it correct. And I can make it, like, the same size. I don't remember how big theirs is. I know it's a nice, it's a decent size. But I don't remember how how big it is. Alright. Whoa, 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 whoa. Cancel. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, I'm going to finish this fence. And, um... Yeah, so then the next video on here... We will uh, work on getting some dealership and other items that we need. And, uh go from there so thanks for watching you guys if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that thumbs up button 
If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to check out. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for links to all of my social medias, my mod site, and other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. I promise I will get that down pat one day. One day. I don't know when, but one day. I have to like just sit there, sit here and practice it one day. Um, anyhow, thanks for watching you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.